Well, the last stage of them all, from Lowestoft to Felixstowe, 158.4, predominantly flat kilometres, and an expected bunch sprint with three intermediate sprints along the way, and the tantalising prospect of nine bonus seconds in what is a tight battle for the podium places in the general classification of the Lloyds Bank Tour of Britain men in 2024. The race in the neutralised rollout heading out of Lowestoft, pausing at the Gullwing Bridge, newly opened just yesterday, part of the infrastructure of Lowestoft, and then on the outskirts of town, the flag dropping in kilometre zero. Ben Swift attacking with Jonas Abrahamsson, that was the first of many attacks as the wind played a huge part in stage six, blowing in a very strong direction from the southwest, predominantly a headwind for most of the day. One after the others then, riders did get across to join the action at the front of the race as they went through the first of the three intermediate sprints at Beckles, with none of the podium contenders able to score any of the bonus seconds. Too many riders then getting across to the front of the race for the taste of Sudal Quickstep, who rode with Israel Premier Tech hard on the front of the bunch to bring that move back, all of which just opened up the race for further attacking. Group after group got clear, and eventually a four-rider group, including Peyo Bilbao and Tom Pitcock, counter-attacking to get across to Jake Scott and one other rider at the front of the race formed a quartet of riders as the bunch sat up and these four riders eventually got together and built up the first of the leads of the day for the breakaway an advantage which grew to around about two minutes and 40 seconds placing Matthias Brekhoi into the virtual race lead as Israel Premier Tech had to rise to control him starting the day at just one minute and 59 seconds down on GC then, on the exit of a town and into some crosswinds, DSM opened it up and split the peloton in half. The red jersey of Paul Mania distanced at the back and a big front group in the peloton riding hard to keep him away. And that spelt the end of the breakaway featuring Tom Pidcock and Peyo Bilbao. As the group came together again and heading towards the second intermediate sprint of the day at Albra, it was an opportunity for Q36.5 and Mark Donovan to take further seconds. But it was Tom Donenwirt of Decathlon AG to Ala Mondial who won the sprint comfortably, took three bonus seconds and leapfrogged in the virtual classification a frustrated Mark Donovan relegating him down to fourth place and putting himself onto a podium place of third. Israel Premier Tech and DSM and Peyo Bilbao riding for Bahrain Victorious seem determined to keep Paul Mania and the rest of the chasers out the back and then a crash behind unseen by the cameras actually forced Paul Mania and Tom Pidcock to abandon. British Cycling, the GB team plus Van Rysel Roubaix did a lot of riding to bring a second group back to the front of the race and restore a sizable group at the front. This then became the second group on the road, Lidl Trek with five of their riders off the back, but no sign of Paul Manier forced to abandon the big race favourite out of the mix. Then the last of the intermediate sprints at Grunsborough confirmed Tom Donenwirt, who picked up second place in the sprint against Joe Blackmore, confirmed Tom Donenwirt moving up emphatically into third place in the general classification. So a late charge for the podium from the Decathlon AG to La Mondiale man. On the run into Felix Doe then, Remco Evenepoel, not having to work for Paul Manier for the sprint any longer, launched a series of long-range attacks. Oscar Onley joined in the action as well, forcing Jake Stewart to chase. And Jake Stewart once again vigilantly glued to the wheel of Remco Evenepoel, who attacked for a third and final time unsuccessfully on the run-in to the finish line at Felixstowe. Ten kilometres to go then, DSM were on the front, and in the final kilometre, Uno X were swarming with those red and orange jerseys all over the front of the race, but dislodged as they hit the final kilometre from the very front. Instead, it was Bahrain victorious, riding for their sprinter, Govacar, who hit the front, Jake Stewart then coming round his sprinter, Ethan Vernon, and Jake Stewart about to deliver a huge lead out for the man from Israel Premier Tech looking for his first win at the Tour of Britain men in 2024. Jake Stewart then taking over as they hit the final left-hander and headed for the finish line with everybody else lined up on the uh, Israel Premier Tech train. Ethan Vernon then getting the big lead out from Jake Stewart. Then came the two riders including uh, Abrahamson from uh, Uno X. 
but it was Govacar riding the wheels who timed his sprint in the tailwind to perfection. Ethan Vernon opening up his sprint in far too small a gear. Stuck there, Ben Swift coming with the charge, but Govacar would not be denied, not even from Rasmus Pedersen, the Danish national champion, who came with a charge up on the right to finish in second place. Victory, though, for Govacar, a career win number three for the 24-year-old Slovenian of Bahrain victorious. Ben Swift holding on to third place and a podium finish for the 36-year-old for the Ineos Grenadiers, who would be voted the overall competitivity winner over six days of racing. Very fast finish from Rasmus Pedersen, the Danish national champion, but he had to settle for second place behind the winner of stage six, Bahrain Victorious' Govacar. Stevie Williams then made his way in the green jersey to the final podium of the general classification, the overall winner of the Lloyds Bank Tour of Britain men in 2024, the first British winner of this race since Steve Cummings and before him Bradley Wiggins. A notable achievement for Israel Premier Tech and for Stevie Williams. He was joined by Tom Donenwirt in third place and Oscar Onley in second place. The final GC then, two British riders in first and second with a Frenchman in third, but victory to Stevie Williams.